Welcome to this video presentation by Heirloom Computing. What we are going to show here is how easy it is to take an Elastic Cobol application and deploy it to the CloudBees Cloud Platform. We can do this because Elastic Cobol applications execute 100% under the Java runtime environment. What we're looking at here is the Elastic Cobol IDE and the CloudBees plugin for Eclipse. We're currently in the Elastic Cobol perspective looking at our application which consists of a simple web form which invokes a COBOL servlet to process the data. We also have a simple XML file which is the deployment descriptor for the application. So let's now switch to the CloudBees perspective. The first thing we're going to do is to create a new CloudBees project and we will use this as a template to host the existing COBOL application and deploy it to the cloud. Because this is a COBOL application, we need to ensure that the required extensions to the Java runtime environment are available to the application. So we are going to add that external jar file here. Let's now drop the COBOL application artifacts that we looked at earlier into the CloudBees project. The application's web form is placed here. The COBOL program, which in this view has been compiled into a Java program by the Elastic COBOL compiler, goes in this location. And finally, we're going to take the deployment descriptor and place it in this location. For deployments outside of this machine, i.e. onto another computer or into the cloud, we need to make sure that the required files are included in the deployment package. So the first thing we're adding is the authorization file for the Elastic COBOL runtime. Next, we're going to include the COBOL runtime services jar file. This is the same file that was referenced earlier in the project setup. We are now ready to deploy the application. So first, let's deploy the application locally. I'm going to go into the web browser and load the application's form. For speed, we're not going to enter any data into the form. So when we push the register software button, the COBOL server it will execute and tell us that we are missing required information. OK, so with that working, let's try the same application in the cloud. The application is now in the process of being deployed to the CloudBees platform. With the deployment process now complete, we're going to grab the application's URL and execute it. Once again, without any data entry, we will see exactly the same result as before when we ran the application locally. So to recap, we've seen how, in just a few minutes, it is possible to take an existing COBOL application and seamlessly deploy it to the CloudBees platform. Any organization with high value trusted COBOL workloads can now deploy those workloads to the cloud. This has been a presentation by Heirloom Computing, empowering enterprises in the cloud.